Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at what is in my humble opinion one of the more highly anticipated releases from Diecast Masters this year. It is the 187 or HO scale Caterpillar D5 dozer. Now this just isn't any old dozer. This one has a couple unique tricks up its sleeve at is as it is outfitted with a fine grating undercarriage and foldable blade. More on that momentarily. But first, we need to get the model out of its box. Because it's a Highline Series model, it comes in the white outer protection shipping box. So let's open one of the sides. The metal tin is protected by this white outer sleeve. So we'll take that off. Finally, we see the actual box that houses the model. We can see CAT HO scale on the left-hand side of the box, the item number again, and a picture of it. Now, please note, if you look right here, these are adult collectibles. So if you are watching my videos for the first time, these are adult collectible scale models. They are not toys. Do not buy these for your young child. The side of the tin, identical, no matter which side it is. The bottom has all of the copyright information as well as your barcode. The back has a picture of the real dozer as well as some information about the real machine. So if you are into that kind of thing, please feel free to pause my video right now and you can read all about it. Once again, here's the top of the tin with the real dozer with the correct blade on it in a beautiful background. Let's go ahead and pop the top on that and see what we find inside. First off, here's the 2022 Diecast Masters Cat Catalog. I encourage all collectors to keep up to date with everything coming and available already from Diecast Masters. I personally am very much looking forward to, among other things, the Cat 315 Excavator in 150 scale, hopefully coming soon. The top layer of black foam rubber has a hole. That's a finger hole. Stick your finger in the provided finger hole, which will lift the top piece off. That gives us a good look at the model inside. Be careful what you grab onto. There are some potentially fragile and breakable pieces, and obviously, you don't want to break anything. And with that, your model is complete and ready to be displayed. We bring out the spin table so you get a good 360-degree view of the dozer while I go over some information for you. I told you that this dozer is unique because it has a fine grating undercarriage and foldable blade. What exactly does that mean and what's its benefit? Well, the fine grating arrangement combines the features of a standard VPAT dozer with the longer undercarriage of an LGP machine. The result, a narrow transport width without giving up low ground pressure, resulting in optimal machine maneuverability and stability. The folding blade option only makes transporting the machine even easier. So, that's some information I was able to find from the CAT brochure for this D5 with this option on it. Now, let's take a look at the details and decals because they are aplenty on this. You can see that it does have the CAT Modern Hex decals with CAT here, D5. There is some nice decaling, which mimics the venting on the side of the engine cover. The CAT logo can also be found on the front of it with some black grab rails, some lights, and an exhaust. The top of the cab has an air conditioning unit on the back of it, as well as safety railings on top of it. The rear has a nice shovel accessory on the back, as well as a folding down stair, and obviously your three-shanked ripper. The front of the model has that interesting-looking V-pat and foldable blade setup. I'll go into how that functions in functionality here in just a minute. The details underneath the model, you can see the tracks and how they are designed, as well as how the model is constructed and assembled with two main screws. Unfortunately, the operator figure is not removable from this model without some heavy modification, which would, inquire, which would require you to completely disassemble the tractor. To close out the details and decal chapter of this video, I would like to once again draw your attention to the tracks and the track frame. You can see the casted in sprocket as well as a couple decals which are the tie down locations for placing this machine and chaining it down safely on a low boy trailer. For functionality for an HO scale model, this is a tiny bulldozer, being that it is a D5 class machine, but it has a lot of functionality in it. We begin by taking a look at the tracks, which are rubber, but they will roll with some downward pressure applied to them. Unusually, let's start out at the back of the bulldozer, where we can take a better look at that three-shanked ripper. Right now it is raised and out of service, but we can drop it down 
and it goes down well beneath the back portion of the bulldozer so it will lift it up off the ground. You also have a folding down access stair here which you can of course fold down or raise back up. Now we'll lift the ripper out of the downward position. We'll move towards the front. Now this is a VPAT blade with a folding blade option on it. So VPAT stands for variable pitch, angle, and tilt for those not familiar. You can lower the blade to here, which again is below the machine, so it looks quite good there. You can raise it up as well to a pretty good angle in terms of scale-wise. It does have a little bit of tilt, both in the right or left direction. And if, again, if we lower it back down, you can tilt it to the right and turn it to the left as well, mimicking most of the poses achieved by a real VPAT setup. But this has one more trick up its sleeve. On the left side of the blade, you can see this little indentation right here, and that is to reduce the transport width of the blade so that it doesn't hang over the side of a low boy trailer. That is the functionality. Let's end the video with some display possibilities and my conclusion. Okay, for this display, we have the dozer on a 187 low boy trailer, and as you can see, the blade overhangs or in other terms, is an oversized load. But if you fold the blade in, you can now see that the bulldozer doesn't sit as wide or as much overside on the deck of the trailer. So again, that's one of the advantages with this folding blade setup. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, and you're a longtime collector like I am, man, this D5 looks vaguely familiar to me. Although this is an all-new casting by Diecast Masters, Norscott, no less than 20 years ago, released this model, which is the D5M. You will notice that it is a much smaller casted in and much smaller size dozer, and that's because, I won't go into too much detail, but recently Cat went through and redesignated all of the numbers and sizes on their machines, so technically, long story short, the new D5 is really the old D6, so obviously it would be a lot larger of a machine. So, in conclusion, the Diecast Masters Caterpillar D5 Bulldozer in 187 scale is a excellent addition to Diecast Masters growing range of HO scale models. The functionality is excellent with the blade mimicking most all of the poses of a VPAT dozer accurately, and the tracks move well enough. Some added bonuses include the ripper, which functions quite well, and the folding down access stair. I would highly recommend this model to anybody who is interested in 187 scale construction equipment, and it also would look great on a model train layout. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to us here on the channel so that you don't miss a single video as we have some great stuff coming up very shortly. Until next time, take care, be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.